Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 44, and this is war number six. We are halfway through the season already. And we're going up against an alliance called, what is that? Gwyn Bleed? Bled? I'm not sure. All right, let's see, who did they ban first of all? All right, so Silk, Void, and Titania. Ooh, they came, they came for business. Titania, that let you know. They they serious. They are serious. All right, so let's check out who they got planned for us. All right, so we got Venom, who can possibly get an armor up, and we've got Ant Man Future. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think. I don't remember, but I think... I think Corvus could do this fight. Can't he? Huh. I'll have to uh, double check. But if, if not Corvus, then I am thinking uh, Gallon. Although Ant-Man Future, he's tricky because he has that glancing mechanic. So I need to check whether Corvus or Gallon um, might be good for, for him there. And then we've got Hulkling. Hmm, Hulkling on this node. Claire can do that. And then um, Corvus could do uh, Omega... Sentinel. And then we've got, let's see. I think they've already been divvying these guys up, but if I bring Corvus, he should be able to handle that Killmonger. But, let's see. I think this guy here is who I'm gonna take. Uh, I remember them talking about him and uh, infamous Iron Man should do well against this Bishop. He's a natural counter for Bishop. And um, I believe he's incinerate and shock. Let me see. Okay. Yep. Special lock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. As long as he has that armor up, he's immune to shock and incinerate. So he is perfect for that um, bishop. So I think that is who I will choose. So infamous iron man claire and corvus or corvus could, uh, he could do that fight too i think yeah i'm thinking claire corvus and infamous iron man Corvus should be able to handle these two. Claire handles that one. Corvus can handle her. And then infamous Iron Man for this bishop. All right. That's the idea. I'm going to talk it over and we'll find out who I finally go in with. All right. So let's get on with the fighting. All right. We're going in with Corvus, Claire, and infamous Iron Man. And let me warn you guys right now, this war was ugly, very, very ugly. And I'm gonna explain what I did wrong so that hopefully it'll help you guys, all right? So this first fight is against Venom. Now we know Venom gets an armor up. On this node, if your defender has an armor up, 
they're going to power burn you and you're also going to take damage. Okay. So you generally want someone that can deal with that armor up or can't be power drained, uh, uh, power burned. All right. Now my Alliance leader has told us that while he might make some suggestions, we are not drones. We're not to follow them blindly. If we don't think that that suggestion will work, we need to speak up and discuss it. But he mentioned Claire for this fight. Normally, Claire would be beautiful against Venom. But do you notice something? Do you notice that she's not getting rid of the armor up? And look at her, um, ah, I forgot what they're called, but she's got 20, okay? And see, by this time, you see me just doing um, heavy attacks because I already know that this is a loss. You done messed up, A.A. Hey, Ron! Okay, and that drives me nuts. I'm just dashing back and he somehow still clips me. But anyway, the problem there is that when they're on this node, it's part of the node, and they have an armor up, they are immune to nullify. I think they're also immune to uh, stagger and fate seal as well, I believe. But Corvus can armor break them. So this was actually a fight for Corvus, not Claire. But I went in with a counter that wasn't really a counter. And so that's what happened. So hopefully this will help you guys out. If you're on this path and you're facing someone that has an armor up or gets armor ups, make sure that you can deal with those armor ups or you're immune to power burn or something like that. Um, instead of Claire, I should have brought in a um, Namor, perhaps, or even Gallon. Now this fight, same thing. This is not a Corvus fight. Look at this. Again, we're not dealing with the armors. Now here you have another issue. Instead of the node preventing it, anytime, and this is part of Ant-Man Futures kit, anytime Ant-Man's armor ups are removed by nullify, armor break, expire, anything, he gets a passive armor up of equal strength. I think it's equal strength. It might be a little bit less strength. And they can't be removed by armor breaks. So Corvus was a worse choice. So I should have used Corvus for the first fight. But now this fight here, I now have no one to do this fight. I can brute force it. But I basically sat here and told them, you know, look, this ain't going to work. Um, and I told them why, you know, after I looked it up, because I didn't realize it, obviously, um, from the start. But when we looked up his kit and everything, and I was like, okay. And I told them, look, Corvus can't do this fight. Uh, Claire can't do this fight. And uh, Infamous Iron Man can't do this fight. I, I don't know who can do this fight on my team. So I told them, I'm just going to sit here and wait for some backup. And he was like, okay, yeah. You know, um, after I explained what happened and, and uh, this Ant-Man future, he was like, okay, hold uh, for now. Okay. And you can see here, I'm, I'm looking all over here trying to see maybe if it was the node, but it wasn't, it was Ant-Man Future. All right, so finally, um, and this is like the next day, uh, they got in and were able to clear 
clear that node and I am able to continue. Now, I only have these next two fights because my uh, one of my alliance mates took that bishop fight that I brought infamous Iron Man in for. And that's perfectly fine. Uh, I was having a rough time this war and he was like, you know, maybe this will help you save some potions or something like that. Now, at this particular point in time, we already know we've lost this war. All right, so that's why you're seeing me, you're gonna see me in a minute. Um, I do boost up, of course, but I'm not healing. I'm not using any potions. And I'm still not thinking that I'm going to add to the death count, but I'm figuring, you know, the war is lost. We don't, we don't need to, you know, go that hard. And given that I've already had two deaths on my path, not even on a mini, I'm not in the best of moods. Okay. So anyway, you see, I, I looked and I thought about it. I really did. And I'm like, I, I could heal, but I'm like, you know, Claire, I can heal up with Claire. I said, you know, let me show the power of Claire. Now, I have invulnerability boosts, and I used to do this before. I can get invulnerability boosts more and cheaper than I can the healing potions. Go figure. All right, so Claire is perfect for this guy. All right, you can see here, she's just ripping him up, right? And I'm like, okay, we good. And we got our plan, okay? I went to um, Hellfire, but now I'm like, oh man. But you're actually gonna see something that um, you probably haven't seen very often, okay? And we'll and I'm gonna call it out. Now look at this. I just started getting hit, but we got the indestructible, and I'm like, okay. Whatever. He got me into the corner, and I'm like, I'm not having that. So I fire off my special three. Okay. Now, watch what happens. Fun war shenanigans. Bam! Just got started getting hit. All right, he was unblockable. All right, look at my health. Did you see me heal up? Do y'all know what happened? What you just saw was the elusive signature ability of Black Widow Clairvoyant in action. That actually saved my life. And look at my health now. That saved me from the shenanigans. And look at me. And now Claire is back in business and he's got no shot. No shot. Look at this. Bam, finished with 100% health, full bar. And you saw how I started. So she is SIG 200. That, as you saw, is probably one of two times that I made use of her signature ability. So mock and remember. All right, a longer fight, but at least I got a chance to show you guys her signature ability because it's pretty much useless for most of the time all right so now we've got corvus and he can armor break her so i just do medium light mediums we're good medium light medium that's exactly what i want to do with corvus this is straight easy right shouldn't be any difficulty look at this we're about to get our our special two let's try to bait this out all right boom boom all right and then that happened I'm like, excuse me, what, what? And look at the incinerate, it's still going. I'm like, are you kidding me? How did I get hit? And the indestructible, by the way, was not gonna stop that incinerate. It would have gotten me all the way down and then one knockdown and it would have been over with. Very, very annoying. But in any case, I looked over and like I said, my bishop already taken, not upset about that. I needed a break. And so I just came on in and scooted off to the uh, 
and node. And that is all I did. So these guys were pretty tough, but we could have won this one. We really could have, but it was called and well, you'll see in a minute. Be right back. And we're back, and of course, we lost this war. Like I said, we already knew we had lost it. Let's take a look. Um, there you go. So it was actually a... It was close for a little while. But we just gave up too many deaths. That That's the bottom line. And I gave up two on my path. And as a, a battle group, we still did pretty decent. We we had like single digits. So we actually did pretty well, even with the two uh, deaths that I gave up. We still ended up um, I'm trying to remember. Can we can we look at this? Let's see. Yeah, we can, can't we? There we go. Seven. OK, I don't usually come over here and, and look at the breakdown or anything like that. But yeah, so defender kills seven. So we, we did pretty decent, um, but we could have done better. And without my deaths, which I shouldn't have had, you know, we would have done even better than that. All right. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.